What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. Tonight I'm staying in a business hotel here in Japan. Now I drove here, so I was able to bring along with me my most recent pickup. And this pickup was something that I decided to get because I felt the price was low. And these shoes remind me of some pairs in 2020 that I wanted to get, but failed to pull the trigger on them. Basically, I was hoping they were going to drop to a lower price point, and they never did, and I regretted not pulling the trigger on them when I had the chance, because now they're, both pairs I was really interested in are about 80 to $90 more expensive than when I was kind of hemming and hawing, like, should I pay this price? Maybe they'll go a little bit cheaper. And then in the end, they didn't go cheaper, they went more expensive. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on these. And the colorway that I really regret not getting, the one colorway that I really wanted was maybe surprising for a lot of people because I think it was maybe the least popular of the three, but I really wanted the ceramics. I have a thing for orange. They have orange in the shoe. So yeah, that's the one I really wanted and didn't get. So, I got them in a nine and a half or 27.5 centimeters, which is my size. And they are none other than Nike Donglo SE in the dusty olive gold colorway. So inside the box, we have got the shoe. And they look pretty much exactly like the photos, I mean color-wise. You know, sometimes in a photo the color seems to be a bit different than how it actually looks in hand, but this is pretty much dead on. Dusty olive is actually a really good way to describe this color. The brown inlays on the toe box and... Oof, okay, yeah, yeah, these look really nice. They've got the, I guess, gold laces, but to me they're kind of like a little, little bit of orange, maybe. Um, the swoosh is definitely not orange, so it's, it's a brown suede swoosh, and the new buck material is super soft and silky. That's really nice. Same on the toe box and the Nike swoosh. The only place where there's no new buck is more like a canvas material is back here on the heel. It's actually quite stiff. I'm also digging the the white to gold gradient on the on the soles. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I like how everything just kind of matches up and down the shoe. So unfortunately, I can't actually compare the quality of them to anything from the Ugly Duckling pack because I never got my hands on any of those. So I can't say whether or not these are as nice or better or worse, I, I can't say. This is a pretty well-made shoe, in my humble opinion, as a non-expert. They are not as nice, I would say, as the medium curries, though. Like, if I, those I have, so if I compare it to those, um, that fuzzy suede, that soft suede on those is, I think, nicer than these but I like this colorway better, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's a little bit more funky. The medium curries are just shades of brown and maybe more wearable for a lot of people, but uh, I'm, into, I'm into something more like this. So uh, this is a cool pickup. I'm really happy I got these. And I got them in my size, so that's good. And I did not pay a lot of money for them. Uh, I did pay resale, but they're not going for a ton of money at the moment and yeah like i said i just have to pull the trigger on it now because if i you know hope they would magically drop 10 or 15 dollars more uh, probably wouldn't happen they're probably going the other way right now so strike while the iron is hot and get the shoes when you know you can get a decent deal on them so let me know what you think is this something that you'd be interested in rocking for the personal I think the quality is right on par, so I have no qualms about recommending them in terms of the quality for the price that they're going at right now, so I uh, definitely recommend it from that standpoint. I think these are going to look really good on feet. Let me know what you think in the comments, agree or disagree, 
and thank you very very much for watching this video please stay tuned for my further content subscribe if you haven't already and i really recommend you check out the japan side of my channel you know i'm traveling around japan whenever i can and i'm doing videos about society life and culture here so if that's something that interests you i really recommend checking out those videos as well smash the like button on this one and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you later peace